Welcome back friends. Today we're going to be making some corn dogs. I've been craving fair foods and I looked at the back of a box of corn dogs at the store. I wasn't very happy with it. So we're going to make corn dogs today. Let's get into it. Okay, so Get started, we're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients together. I've got some cornmeal, it would be ideal if it was yellow cornmeal. Uh, the store just didn't have any that wasn't self-rising, so I'm using white cornmeal, extra fine. And I got some flour. I got some brown sugar, about a quarter cup, a tablespoon of baking powder. And then the spices, they're really up to you. You can go wild with all the spices that you would like to put in here. Uh, for me, I've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, some paprika, uh, and then some salt. But you can go wild. I've seen recipes that have uh, diced jalapenos, diced onions in them. It really, that's what, that's how you make a jar corn dog, you know? Have fun with it. So I'm just gonna mix these all up. Go ahead and get some of our wet ingredients in. So we've got uh, one in a, one and three quarters cups of buttermilk. We've got one large egg. Come on, buddy. So, I'll give that a pre-whisk. Now I'm gonna go into my buttermilk with the egg. And then, uh, you know, corn dogs are sweet, so we're gonna add a little bit of honey to this as well. It's gonna be probably about a tablespoon. Let's get this all mixed up. Okay, so before I mix the, our dry and wet ingredients together, I'm gonna go ahead and get our hot dogs prepped. So these need to be super dry so that the batter will stick to it. Uh, this dry aspect of it is part of every kind of corn dog recipe. There are some variations of it where you rub some cornstarch on the outside of it. I don't think that you need it as long as everything adequately dry, but if you're worried about it, you can add some cornstarch to the outside of your hot dogs and they will hold batter for days. My weenies are pretty dry. Okay, so I've got some bamboo skewers. I'm gonna see if they will fit into my pot. So they're a little bit too long for what I need. So I'm gonna grab something. Okay, I don't know if these will work. Oh, cool. So I'm just gonna trim these all down. This is just ensures that my hot dogs will stick or be able to fit inside of my pot. My Dutch oven over here and I have it with about two inches of high temperature oil. I'm using canola oil. You can use peanut oil, vegetable oil, kind of whatever your heart tells you you should do. Uh, if you don't have any peanut allergies and you have access to peanut oil, I would suggest going that way. That's one of my favorites. But I'm also a wiregrass boy. Okay, now we got our hot dogs prepped. Let's finish this batter up. Our oil's at about 280 right now. So I'm gonna take this mixture. Get this all mixed in, and we'll see if we got to the texture that we're looking for. This seems a little stiff to me. So I'm gonna add probably about a quarter cup of buttermilk. Kinda going for a thick waffle batter. This is really the most difficult part of this recipe is getting this texture right and keeping all your ingredients in your bowl. It's a little bit better. This is also a challenging part, getting this into this cup. So this cup's gonna be used to make it easier for us to dip our, our corn dogs into. Okay, so we've got just a little bit longer till our oil comes up to temperature. So I say I was from the wire grass, and so down there we, just talking about oils and stuff, we're, I guess, county considered the peanut capital, at least in the United States, once of the world, but the peanut festival down there, and there's a, a vendor that is known as the corn dog man, and people come from all over the world to have this man's corn dogs. They're pretty famous. He's since passed away, but his family's still running the business, so. If you're ever down in the wiregrass in the fall, stop in at the peanut festival, have yourself a good old corn dog.
Okay, my oil is up to temperature. I was just testing one to see how the batter was. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him in there. Okay, I should be able to hold a couple of them in there. So, you know, it's super simple. This cup makes it easy. I like to dip it down, make sure it gets covered. And then when I pull it out, I give it kind of a twist, especially there at the end. Turn them over and then into the oil. And so these are only gonna take three or four minutes to cook. Uh, and so when we move over to the stove, we're gonna kind of watch them and um, make sure they get to where they need to be. Okay, so once they're to your level of doneness, golden brown, we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna put them on a uh, napkin paper towel lined baking sheet just so they can drain off any excess oil that they may accumulate. The first one's out and now doesn't that look like a beautiful corn dog? I'm so excited about this. Let's just keep working back through them and I'll check back in once all these are done with. Man, that was such a quick and fulfilling cook. Uh, I'm so excited about these corn dogs. I just absolutely love them. And you just go so many years in your life without actually eating one and enjoying one, unless you have kids, I'm sure you eat them a lot then. But I'm, I'm a mustard ketchup person. We'll do a little, we'll do a, we'll do a mustard bite first. At the carnival, they would paint both sides or paint as many sides as you would like with different condiments, but here we go. Blistering hot, great taste, great texture. Oh man, I'm just make, I just may become a corn dog cook. You can make a ton of these corn dogs and do what we're about to do with a lot of these. We're gonna freeze some of these so the next time we have a corn dog craving, we have some homemade corn dog. And we'll get one more bite. Love, love, love. I hope you find some time to make this. I wanna thank you for stopping by today. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Cool.